My name is Josiah. This is Victoria, Ari Hesley, and Bridget. And we made a Crayola crayon box using paint, uh, newspaper, and cardboard. And this is an enlargement project. And you take typically small things and make them bigger. It took us five days. I don't know, Victoria thought we should just um, make a Crayola box, probably because she just saw a Crayola box there. So we thought you could just make a Crayola box. The most fun I had was making the crayons, since I had to sculpture the crayons, and then these three painted them. Painting. Because it was just the easiest part of it. I don't think we can uh, actually draw with them, but if we... I don't know, we could put wax on them and see if it would work. I do think it would be a nice project for somebody else to do because <clears throat> there's a lot of like components and it would and it takes uh, some time and you need a group of people and need to work together. Uh, my name is Lester Nevichoke and this is Christian Lawrence and Zachariah Richardson. And we made this shoe because we, well, my shoe was, yeah. And we decided that we could make a big shoe of my shoe. How long did it take you to make it? About the whole week. It's made of cardboard and paper mache with the laces that made of tape. The laces are like strips of newspaper, and then we wrap, we wrap tape around them. Did you ask them if you could brand their shoe in a giant size? No, they would totally reject this. <laughs> We're making a book, and our friend over there is making the pages, like she's writing a, like our own story, with all of us being a character. What it's about is that there's princesses in it, and it's like a whole crazy thing. So right now we're doing the binding, the cover, and like to hold the book inside. And what it's made out of is tape um, and cardboard, and then later we're going to stuff it to look like it's bigger, and um, that's going to be newspaper. This, we actually were planning to do a cupcake, and then we thought about a robot, and then we, we just thought of doing something so, so simple, so we just did a book. This is my cake, and um, we worked on this cake with two of my other partners, and it's, it was a really cool project to do. Um, newspaper. Newspaper, so no, no chocolate? No chocolate, sorry. Oh, we got a slice of the cake. Yeah, it's fat free. Anybody can eat it. So, you know, I'm Youssef. Um, that's Kiara. That's Stephanie. That's Ni Naomi. And that's Jelene. Yeah, together, we're making an Oreo. But we got the unfinished Oreo here, and it's box. So, like, basically, the project was to take a 2D dimension and make it 3D. So, like, Oreos, like a normal Oreo box would be, like, 2D. And then we have to make it out of cardboard and make it come to life with all these colors. And we had to draw the Oreo and create it from cardboard. Is Oreo your favorite cookie? Oh, yeah, I have an Oreo box. I'm about to finish when I go home. I'm Marcos. And technically, all I'm making is only an Enderman, but it's not coming apart right now. It's a game that I usually play on weekends. It's just made out of box and newspaper, and then the, this top part would be the head, and this would be the body. I'm Rosie Otozi. And I'm Cassie Rodriguez. We made um, a lemonade. <laughs> a lemonade project? Yeah. Oh, ice cubes. Ice cubes. <laughs> this is made out of um, cardboard, and then like, we taped it, and then we painted it over with white paint. Uh, this is, um, this is a straw. The straw. The straw. We made the lemon out of cardboard and then we just um, taped it and then we painted it and then we did white so you could see. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Is that your favorite kind? Yeah. Sure. I like it better than yellow. And it goes better because the lemon's yellow, yellow anyways. Yeah. We chose pink because it We could, chose pink because so it's... So it could um, contrast with the lemon. Yeah. We think that there's like around 20 gallons of lemonade in here. My name's Jordan and this is Abel. We try to attempt to make a skateboard, but we can think we did pretty good. We tried our very best to uh, make this skateboard. 
We could probably done like a little bit better with the uh, with the wheel axles, but I think what we have here is pretty good. Some of the pieces on here is we had to create the wheels, which took a bit of time. They're made of four cardboard wires in each box from a box. They were crafted very carefully with the uh, with the uh, newspaper. Then we had some Chinese sticks as for axles. We use a cardboard box to fold them and then as you can see like have it make the axle for the wheels. On top the entire board we have a paint a tape layer in order to uh, give like a grip a type of grip color to it. On the bottom it's a white surface so we're gonna like later on we're gonna create a design for it at the bottom. So when you flip it, it's going to be entirely like have a color to it. The best part was that we found a way to make it look similar that we didn't know we could do, but um, we came through with it. So that was really fun, and we made an experience, so it's better. My favorite part on this project was painting uh, the different types of items I made, like the wheels. It took two days in order to complete this. Very nice. Oh, Jordan, high five. Having fun in art. And we decided to do um, a Halloween cake with a weird, creepy hand coming out of the cake. It's made of paper and cardboard. The paper is kind of the circular. And then just to f hold everything together, we put cardboard on the top and the bottom of them. The hand is just a plastic um, glove hand with newspaper inside. Yeah. You know, just like put everything together. We also put newspapers inside for um, for it. Nothing will just like fall down. And Can you eat the cake? <coughs> no. 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 I'm Catherine Garcia, and we made a donut for art class. We started like making it round, and then to make it fluffy, we put like newspaper around it, like to make it thick, like a thick donut. And then we decided to do like you know how the donuts like tan. We painted it tan, and then we did um, brown, like a chocolate with like sprinkles. We used these little strips to make it like look more like a donut. My name is Kaylee. Um, we came up with this because we wanted something to be like some creative type of like thing that somebody else wouldn't come up with, and this was our idea. And it was a very fun project. It took long, but it was worth it. And yeah, it took like it took a lot of work mm -hmm. to do, but it was like, how do I say, it was like actually fun. Like it wasn't, it wasn't something that I would think I was able to do at first, but yeah. If this were a real donut, how, how many donuts do you think would be in this one donut? There would be a lot of dough to make it this there big. There would be like a hundred donuts in yeah. it. Oh, my name is Rosa Vasquez. When Miss Lane Lewis was talking about making something, I was thinking about food. So then a burger came up in my mind. <laughs> I would try to do like a little simple homemade. Um, the pickles, um, the tomato, the cheese, melted cheese over the big patty and lettuce. So the materials I used for it was usually more cardboard than anything and then with some newspaper to attach everything and a lot of tape. The whole project was very creative and it like, I don't know, it took a lot of time to do it but at the end of the day, even though it's not perfect, um, the, um, I really liked it and I had fun making it.